So you're still on the crisps then? On the crisps. I eat them, okay? It's not like they're drugs. Your cholesterol levels must be so bad. Worcester sauce crisps can't be good for you. They're basically a drug to you. Don't be daft. If they were drugs, how come I'd still buy them in Morrison's? Guess everything's a drug. Deep. You're even on the multi-packs now. It saves money. Yes, but it just means you'll eat more. Not necessarily. Go on then. How many packets have you had this morning? So by this morning, do you mean today? Today, Saturday, how many packets? Six. If I can explain. Well, go on then. So I was expecting you to give me this lecture about health. Now I want you to explain why having six packets of crisps in the morning is a good idea. <sighs> You're not my mother. Yes, but back to the question. OK, if you must know, I was out of toast this morning, OK? Uh, and I have to have something for breakfast before uh, this long drive, this long drive to take you to see your new boyfriend. You're seeing your new girlfriend too. Don't make this out to be a massive favour. I can drive myself now, you know. My car's fixed. Nah, it's too late. Been on this road for half an hour. Well, that's your choice. Why do you care anyway? Why do you care about how many packets of crisps I have? Because I still care, Michael. I'm worried about your health. But you've got a new boyfriend now to worry about. I don't need to worry about him. He's very healthy. Oh, yeah. I, I know his type. Nice, um, nice bracelet, by the way. Thanks. Is that the, uh, is that the one I got you? His type. He's, he's all moisturiser and spearmints, isn't he? Adam doesn't need moisturiser because he has a good diet, so his skin is perfect. And he doesn't need spearmints because he brushes his teeth twice a day. Shut off. That's normal, Michael. Mike, uh, and yes, I was joking. And actually, uh, my Jennifer has amazing skin. You know what they say about good skin being the same as uh, as smooth as a baby's bottom? It's, it's like that. Although, obviously I've never kissed a baby's bottom before. That would just be wrong. How's your, um, how's your skin doing these days? What do you mean by that? Simple question. Well, you can see for yourself, can't you? No, actually, I'm driving, if you don't mind. It, it looks great. Well done. It was stress that was making it so dry before. Strangely, these days, I don't feel that stressed. Funny, that, isn't it? Hilarious. Do you remember when I got you that bracelet? Yes. So I thought it was a really nice moment. It, it felt like the first time ever that I'd ever bought a girl anything. It felt like a, a, a kind of a, an achievement. But you didn't buy it though. You won it. What? Well, you won it at the fair. No, no, that wasn't that really tacky uh, ring. That was the bracelet. I can't believe I got too confused. Sorry, I just I just got completely confused there for a second. It was a really special moment to me, Emily. I can't believe. Look, look, I remember now. It was a special moment for me too. I remember at the time thinking, "Wow, amazing, thank you." Still dumped me two and a half years later. Okay, did you want to talk about that now? No, it's fine. Sorry, Emily. Sorry, that was just a joke. Very funny. Your new boyfriend tell jokes? Will you stop calling him my new boyfriend, please? Well, he is, isn't he? He has a name. He's called Adam, okay? Not new boyfriend or what's his face or Adrian. He's called Adam. 
Adam, Adam, Adam. Double barreled surname? Sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Does Adrian make jokes? Adam! It's, yes, Adam! Yes! You might uh, yes. have said, yes. Yes, he does make jokes. He's a stand up comedian. Cool. Does he, uh, he makes you laugh then? He does everything, yes. Say that, well, I'll try to make you do everything you used to tell me to calm down. remember the day I got you that bracelet, can you? Well, of course I can. Go on, then. We were... away, weren't we? You had flu. You were at home. I was away from the office. It really cheered me up. <sighs> Glad it means so much to you. was Nando's last weekend? Did Jennifer like it? Yeah, yeah, she really did, actually. It's, it's, that's the thing I like about Nando's, it's just so consistent, isn't it? I, I like my food to be consistent. Yeah, I remember. How was... where is it you went? Oh, we went to a fish restaurant by the harbour. It was a really lovely evening. Yeah, well, I also had great sex after the meal. What? Really lovely evening. I know you were implying. Yeah, I had a really lovely evening too, thanks. In fact, if this was a text message, uh, I'd even end it with a winky, smiley face. Really lovely evening. Right. Next week, I'm definitely driving myself. I can't be dealing with this anymore. You started it. This car is actually starting to offend me. I'm wearing really nice clothes. Bracelet as well, nice bracelet. And I just feel dirty in this car. The sandwich packets and crusts and... Oh! What's that on the floor? Sauce. Sauce? Uh, yes, barbecue sauce. We, we had a drive through the other night. Why is it still on the floor? Because Jennifer couldn't manage it. There's enough flavour in a Big Mac already. Sorry, I didn't realise you were offended by sauce these days. I'm not offended by it. It's just... It doesn't matter. It really does matter though, doesn't it? It's not all about sex anyway, a good relationship. It's only a part of it. I know, so I was just saying, I didn't mean to boast. <laughs> You never used to be the kind of alpha male who boasted about sex. I never had the chance, did I? Thanks! No, I didn't mean like that. I'd... Look, what I was saying was I could never boast about sex because all of our friends are, were, were mutual friends, okay? And it would just be weird if I was boasting about sex, okay? A relationship has to be the full works, not just the physical side of things. With Adam I go to the theatre and we went to the museum on Sunday morning. Are you saying that I can't do culture? Maybe you can do culture, but you've never shown me. That's, I've progressed since you, actually. You know, I, I go to watch films with subtitles. And I, I listen to music, really good music, with violins and stuff. Look. I mean, obviously, not this album, but... I've missed you. <laughs> Here we are then. Thanks again, Michael. Mike. Ex-boyfriend. <laughs> you gotta enjoy your new boyfriend. I will. You have fun with Jennifer. I will. Thank you. 
And look, if you are driving back here next week, then any chance of a lift? It's just because Jennifer gets weekends off, and uh, I can get the train back for work. Obviously, it's just. Of course. I'll see you then. Sure. <laughs> Emily, I think you've left something. Didn't actually get that one for you, did I? No. So you tell me who to